Right now at five, Minnesota is expanding voting rights regardless of a person's criminal history. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening and thanks for watching News 8 Now at 5. I'm Dua Strar. Ken is off for the night. Those convicted of a felony in Minnesota no longer have to complete probation or parole to vote. That's thanks to a bill signed by Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. News 8 Now's Emily Haugen joins us in studio to explain. Emily. Dua, this is a bill that advocates and Democrats have pushed for for years. When Walls signed the bill on Friday, 50,000 more Minnesotans gained the right to vote. Danny Lund of Winona was convicted of a felony years ago. He wasn't able to cast his ballot until now. I mean, people make mistakes in life, so I do think it's right that they should have that opportunity to have a say in what goes on in their state or in their country or where they live, you know. Lund says he thinks this is an op important opportunity for everyone coming out of prison who is trying to change their life. And supporters say this gives felons a chance to be a part of something again. A number of Republicans have opposed the legislation. In a statement to WCCO in Minneapolis, Senator Warren Limmer said, quote, probation is a time where criminals are to prove they can adjust to their freedom without reverting to formal criminal activity. We expect to see them follow the law fully before we allow them to choose lawmakers and judges, unquote. Dua? Thanks, Emily. Minnesota is now one of t over 20 states that allows people to vote of prison, people out of prison to vote. Convicted felons still cannot vote in Iowa or Wisconsin until their sentence is finished. Well, we're going to take a break and send it over to meteorologist Eric Dean. Eric, how's it looking outside? Uh, right now, okay. Ask me about 48 hours, it's going to be a different story. And the reason being, is because we have this on the map. This is a winter storm watch. Winter storm watch goes into effect Thursday and lasts until Friday morning uh, for the central and southern part of the News 8 Now viewing area. You can see it right there on the map. The county is shaded in blue. This is a winter storm watch that goes into effect Thursday at 6 p.m. and goes until uh, Friday at 6 a.m. So make sure you have the free News 8000 First Warren weather app on your mobile device to receive the latest information uh, for your area. Outside right now, we have partly cloudy skies. We were in the 40s throughout the day. We're sitting at 43 degrees. Earlier we were at 44, so we haven't moved much. Uh, right now we're at 43 degrees. Sunny skies is the rule at the airport, but with winds out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour, it feels like 37 out there. And right now we're seeing temperatures in the 30s and 40s from top to bottom. Now, do it coming up in the first one forecast, like I said. I uh, hope you enjoy today, and for the most part, I hope you enjoy tomorrow because there's a big old change coming, and we'll talk about that in a few minutes. I just got used to the sunshine, Eric. You and me both. <laughs> All, All right. All must come to an end. Well, a multi-million dollar four-year plan is in the works in Toma. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher is live in studio to tell us how Toma's school district's operational referendum could affect taxpayers. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Dua. Quality career planning, maintenance, and safety. These are some of the areas that Toma School District has promised to maintain if the referendum should pass. The district is asking voters to exceed the revenue limit by $2.5 million over the next four years. The money will help offset budget deficits and increase per student spending. Toma School District Superintendent Dr. Mike Hansen says this change will have little to no impact on taxpayers. We're a very low spending district. Um, we are the lowest uh, in, in assessed uh, taxes right now in our area at $5.91 per um, uh, thousand. So the impact to our patrons is uh, flat to neutral. Toma isn't the only school going to referendum multiple times and asking tax taxpayers to help keeping schools running. During last November's midterms, Toma put one of more than 80 school referenda on the ballot, asking voters for school funding. It, it is uh, uh, a difficult time uh, dealing with uh, things that are really well beyond our control but uh, this is one mechanism that districts uh, have been using to meet the challenging budget um, scenarios that were dealt with. The district spent its last four-year referendum creating new positions and hiring people to fill them. Those include five special ed positions, two elementary counselors, and a high school math teacher, all achieved within the last four years because of a referendum like this one. 
and the referendum will be on the April 4th ballot. Dua? Thanks, Anna. For more information on the referendum, visit our website at news8000.com. Well, the La Crosse School District is holding an in-person informational session about its upcoming operational referendum. The district is asking for a six-year increase and extension of its 2018 operational referendum. Parents and members of the public can attend the session at Logan Middle School on Thursday. It starts at 6.30 p.m. There's more information on the La Crosse School District's website. Wisconsin Republicans could vote to block Governor Tony Evers' new vaccine policy. Under the new policy, students will have tighter chickenpox vaccine mandates and be required to get vaccinated twice against meningitis. Currently, the health department requires students to get vaccinated against chickenpox in order to attend kindergarten through sixth grade. There are no vaccination requirements for meningitis. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, nationwide vaccination rates for kindergartners have decreased for two years in a row. The GOP-controlled legislature is expected to vote on the policy in the upcoming days. A big donation is helping bring a proposed All Abilities Park closer to reality. The Holman Area Foundation presented the North American Squirrel Association with a $10,000 check today. The project will cost about $300,000 and today's boost is helping get the project to $100,000 mark. The All Abilities Playground will be in the Remington Hills Park in Holman. One of the project's leaders says it's the perfect place to have an accessible playground since the nearest ones are on the south side of La Crosse or in Toma. Holman is a growing community and I know that we have children in the district that have special needs and need access to, to park structures like this. We don't have any that are available. Having this in this location with the adequate parking and the, the big space, uh, the flat ground is very important for us. NASA's goal is to have enough funding to get shovels in the ground by next spring and to open the park by the summer of 2024. You can help them reach their goal by making a donation on their website. Well, just ahead, a popular social media app's future is up in the air. Why the American Civil Liberties Union says banning the app may violate the First Amendment. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Start your children's Christ-centered education with the La Crosse Area Lutheran Schools. From preschool to high school, our educational programs encourage students to use their God-given abilities to their fullest potential. Your child will experience a safe and caring environment to learn, work, and play all while helping them to achieve and maintain academic excellence. La Crosse Area Lutheran Schools, for faith, values, and learning. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org. Get on the road, on the water, or off the beaten path with a vehicle loan from Ultra. Enjoy low rates, flexible terms, and no payments for 90 days. Apply from anywhere 24-7 with approvals in just minutes. Whether it's a car, truck, RV, boat, or motorcycle, we'll put you in the driver's seat with a monthly payment that fits your budget. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what our members say. It's go time. Take the next step and apply now at driveultra.org. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. Menards is your lighting headquarters. We have a great selection of lights from top brands, including Good Earth Lighting. Good Earth light fixtures are eco-friendly and super efficient, saving you money on your next electric bill. Get a light that complements your unique style, has cutting edge and innovative features, or helps you with your home projects. Pick up this 45-inch 10,000 lumen LED shop light for $29.99 after sale price and 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor has immediate openings and wants you to apply. They say this job takes grit, attention to detail, and ability to work as a team. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. $2,500 hiring bonus. 
Sick of running out of hot water? The professionals at Maxwell White are here to handle all of your water heater needs. Our licensed technicians can install, repair, or replace any type of water heater with same day or next day service. Call Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. The U.S. State Department confirms two of the four Americans who were kidnapped in Mexico Friday are back in the United States. The remains of the other two U.S. citizens have been recovered and are in the process of being brought back to the U.S. Christian Benavides has been following the story and has the latest from Miami, a warning that some of the images in this report are disturbing. Two of the four U.S. citizens abducted on Friday are back in the United States after being taken to the border in Matamoros, Mexico, Tuesday. U.S. officials say the other two Americans involved did not survive. The bodies of two other U.S. citizens killed in the same incident were also recovered. According to the FBI, the four Americans were kidnapped after they drove a white minivan across the border from Brownsville, Texas into Matamoros, where gunfire broke out between two rival drug cartel groups. Video appears to show gunmen loading the Americans into the back of a pickup truck. The DEA and the FBI are doing everything possible to dismantle and disrupt and ultimately prosecute the, the leaders of the cartels and the entire networks uh, that they depend on. A U.S. official identified the Americans as Latavia Tay McGee, Shaid Woodard, Zindel Brown, and Eric James Williams. Tay McGee's aunt told CBS News she believes her niece went to Mexico for cosmetic surgery, a common practice because procedures are less expensive south of the border. Americans that make that trek, is it safe for them to do that? These people are in great danger going into Mexico. Michael Vigil is the former head of international operations for the Drug Enforcement Administration. You have to keep in mind that those are drug routes that the cartels protect with their lives. Mexican authorities say they have one suspect in custody. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. A U.S. law enforcement source tells CBS News investigators believe the Gulf Cartel, one of the oldest organized crime groups in Mexico, is responsible for the attack on the American victims. Well, the American Civil Liberties Union is speaking out about a House bill aimed at banning TikTok. They say the bill violates the First Amendment and the Berman Amendment. The 1988 law protects the right to receive information regardless of its country of origin. A representative of the organization told CBS News that it limits communication about international current events like the war on Ukraine. U.S. lawmakers are concerned about data security and the spread of propaganda by the Chinese government. The CEO of TikTok will testi testify before a House committee later this month. Wisconsin is part of the nationwide effort to regulate TikTok. Governor Tony Evers issued an order to ban the app on all state-issued devices. The University of Wisconsin system is blocking the app from its campuses. It was removed from company devices at all universities, including UWL, last month. After refusing to testify for weeks, Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz has agreed to speak in front of a Senate committee. The Senate's Health, Education, Labor and Pensions Committee will hear from Schultz about Starbucks's labor practices. The company has tried to stop its employees from unionizing. Schultz refused to talk in the past, stating he is only an interim CEO and offered to send his public his chief public affairs officer. The committee was scheduled to hold a vote tomorrow on whether to subpoena Schultz. Chairman of the committee, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, has called the company's anti-union activities illegal. Schultz's testimony is scheduled for March 29th. Soup is being served in Viroqua. Right now, community members are giving pitches for ideas they think could improve their town. And in the world of weather, we have a winter storm watch that goes into effect Thursday or Wednesday evening, excuse me, Wednesday evening. Uh, we'll talk more about that coming up in the first one forecast on the side of the break. Stay with us. Make next winter fun for your family with Mount Lacrosse. Season passes are on sale. Buy now for next year and ski the rest of this season for free. Stop out or visit us online to get your season pass today. Sale ends March 12th. 
Lane's Farm and Fleet's spring jean sale is going on now. We carry a huge selection of quality denim brands at affordable prices. And right now, all jeans are on sale. Like men's Rustler jeans, just $17.99. Rewards members save an extra buck. Get 30% off these women's Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. Save $10 on men's Levi's, only $49.99. Plus, all tires are on sale. Shop instant savings and consumer rebates when you buy four. Find value at Lane's Farm and Fleet. Every piece of land has a story written by those who work it. Like the Caggianos, who are brewing their own legacy. Or the Upshaws, who DIY all the time. While the Nelsons play lead in their own adventure, 150 years in the making. There's a story in every piece of land. Run with us and start telling yours. Talk to the John Deere experts at Tractor Central to find out which equipment is just right for your property. Start now at TractorCentral.com. Excuse me, is this carpet stain resistant? Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like it is. Sorry. Advice from real flooring experts and huge savings on stain resistant flooring? Visit Carpet One. Carpet One Floor and Home. Right now at your local Carpet One, you can get help from our flooring experts while saving big and enjoying special financing on beautiful floors for your home. Come see us today. When your back pain is your foot's fault, this is Dean's story. I had back pain and I honestly didn't know where to go. Until a friend suggested the Good Feet store. She had to explain to me the feet are connected to the back. And get this. As soon as I put on those Good Feet arch supports, the pressure lifted off my back. It's like finding that missing puzzle piece. Like, yes, this is it. Stop by for your free fitting at the Good Feet store. Make next winter fun for your family with Mount Lacrosse. Season passes are on sale. Buy now for next year and ski the rest of this season for free. Stop out or visit us online to get your season pass today. Sale ends March 12th. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at News8000.com. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The Viroqua community is eating dinner for a good cause. The community crowdfunding event called Soup is happening right now. And here is a live look at the event at the Viroqua Eagles Club. Folks are pitching their ideas for community projects to be voted on by the community. Attendees will cast their vote for their favorite project over a hot bowl of soup and a fresh piece of bread. If you couldn't make it to tonight's event, stay tuned. We'll have more tonight at 10. And we're going to switch gears and take a look at this weather and the unfortunate news that we're getting more snow. Eric. Yes, so that winter storm watch starts Thursday, not Wednesday. It starts Thursday and goes until Friday uh, for the counties in blue. So from Eau Claire County, County and south, winter storm watch starts on Thursday and goes until uh, Friday at 6 a.m. So here's what we know so far. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the graphic. What we know, the confidence in the snow across the Cooley region, uh, the confidence in snow across the Cooley region Thursday and Friday, it's pretty darn good. The winter storm watches, like I said, go into effect Thursday afternoon and will last throughout the day Friday. Here's what we need to figure out. The overall timing of this system, the overall track, any shift in any direction with this system will play a big impact as to overall what we'll see. Some places could see more snow, some places could see more rain, some places could see a wintry mix. And the temperature profile, not just here, but you got to go up a little bit uh, to see what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere. The reason why we need to figure this out, uh, we have to wait, is because it's still in the Pacific. So it's not even made its way inland yet, and until it does, then we got to wait for a little bit. So one thing you can do to stay ahead of this system, Make sure you download the free News 8000 First Warn Weather app on your device uh, to receive the latest information, especially if you are in the areas shaded in blue on that with that winter storm watch. Outside right now, 43 degrees is the current temperature. Feels like 37 winds are out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour. In Eau Claire, you have sunny skies. 38 degrees is your current temperature. It feels like 33 with winds out of the east northeast at 7 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and dive into the forecast. First of all, we're seeing the cloud cover start to pick up a little bit. 
The big picture right now is showing a stationary boundary that's in play, and it's not going to move until our next system pushes its way through. You see associated with that is a low pressure system. Over towards the Dakotas, north South Dakota, seeing a little bit of snow. Uh, that's going to stay off towards the north, but our next weather maker, like I said, is still in the Pacific. So when you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 30s and or 20s and 30s will greet you, I should say. Uh, we're going to stay below freezing from Black River Falls up towards Lady Smith. By 9 a.m., we'll see temperatures in the 30s. We're going to stay mostly cloudy as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. So you may see a stray snow shower or two across portions of Chippewa, Eau Claire, and Rusk County. And then here's what's going to happen. So here's that system still off in the Pacific. Watch what happens as we go into Wednesday night. See it's pushing its way through Wyoming, portions of South Dakota, portions of Minnesota. As we go into Thursday evening, you can see it pushing its way into the Cooley region. And then by Friday late morning, it's out of here. But again, there's still some uncertainty with this, so you really have to keep an eye on this system. So we'll see mostly cloudy skies for tonight, a common cool evening. Winds will be out of the east at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. For tomorrow, we'll see temperatures going into the upper 30s by the 10 o'clock hour, low 40s by the noon hour. We'll see that uh, temperature, or the wind, I should say, take more of an easterly approach as we go into the uh, afternoon and early evening hours. So we have the alert days out for Thursday and Friday. Snow chances pick up again Thursday night. Friday, we'll see the snow chance in the morning hours. Saturday, we'll see that temperature of 37. Sunday, we'll go to 38 with a snow chance, and then we'll see those temperatures staying in the upper 30s Monday through Wednesday. But right now, Dua, all eyes are on Thursday night going into Friday morning. All right. Sounds good. Yep. Well, <laughs> when we come back, video stores may be a thing of the past, but one Minnesota town has kept theirs going. Now, its owner says it's time to say goodbye. Visit the Early Bird Home Show, going on now at the Ford Store Home Improvements. Lowest prices of the year on your 2023 project. Windows, bathrooms, and more. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At Buy Goff and Roadie, that's how we get results. Morgan Farmer at Park Bank enjoys working with new and existing business owners to ensure their success. He finds the means to secure loans through the Small Business Administration that enables these businesses to start, expand, and thrive in our communities. Morgan Farmer enjoys helping local businesses, and he also enjoys other things. Visit Morgan at Park Bank to talk about your small business and other things. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-247. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. Dan Kelly won't keep our community safe. As a lawyer, Kelly defended child sex predators who posed as ministers in order to prey on vulnerable young girls. They lured young children to locations they believed to be safe only to sexually assault and molest them. And Dan Kelly defended those monsters. Do you want someone like that on the Supreme Court? Dan Kelly, an extremist who doesn't care about us. I've practiced personal injury law for four years. For 20 years. For 32 years. All I do every day is help injured people get the compensation that they deserve. At Buy Golf and Rody, that's how we get results. A video store in Minnesota withstood the test of time, opening before Blockbuster and staying open through the pandemic. Now it's time to roll the ending credits. Mary Elmo shows us how the people who work there and their customers kept it alive for so long. You know, we got the dramas here. There's plenty of great dramas. Uh, Troy Rachie can give a review about most of the movies on these shelves. Rain Man is a great one that I can always watch. That's because he's called Video Universe in Robbinsdale home for 29 years. I started uh, when I was 15 actually. And uh, first job. 
He didn't intend to work here this long, but there was something special about this place he couldn't let go of. You know, the business world was always going to be there after, but this job wasn't. And so I continue to ride the wave. It's instant nostalgia when you walk in here, from the classics on the shelves to the candy that has never been touched by inflation. I guess this is about the last of the dinosaurs here. But after about 40 years in business, the owner is ready to retire, and Troy is anxious to start his second job. It, it'll make me sad that, that the next generation won't see what a video store is like. Unless parents enlighten their kids before this place closes. My dad would just come here Sometimes to get movies that we couldn't get on streaming or anything. Henrik and Sylvia Seawolson were lucky enough to learn about these ancient artifacts. Apparently, an appreciation for a video store can be passed down. It's so awesome to just go here sometimes and just see all the old movies from, you know, when we were not even born. Well, we'll have a look at what's coming up on CBS News when we come back. And we'll have another live look at tonight's forecast. Welcome to ESCO. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Help us celebrate our anniversary with big savings. The more you buy, the more you save. Buy one item, save 10%. Buy two items, save 15%. Buy three or more items, save 20%. The sale is good in all departments, even carpeting. The more you buy, the more you save sale. This month only at WESCO and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup is always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Introducing the Starmark Composite Window, now available exclusively at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. With its solid frame construction, this revolutionary window is 2,000% more airtight, 40% more energy efficient, and 12 times stronger than the average vinyl window. And at a price less than what many companies charge for lower quality vinyl windows. Receive a free triple pane upgrade on select windows and 24 months interest-free financing. Stella Jones Corporation in Bangor has immediate openings and wants you to apply. They say this job takes grit, attention to detail, and ability to work as a team. Stella Jones Corporation is where safety matters and wages sustain a comfortable living. If you have what it takes and can stand behind our railroads, then we want you to apply today. $2,500 hiring bonus. Rise and shine. Today you start a new and exciting adventure. So step up and dream big. At the School District of La Crosse, let curiosity guide you. Not fear of the unknown. Meet friends, learn and play. Embrace change. Discover hidden talents. And let loose your unbridled potential. Build a better future. Because here, anything is possible. The School District of La Crosse. Dream. Believe. Achieve. A convicted felon kidnapped and raped a 15-year-old girl, abducting her off the street in broad daylight. Judge Janet Protasewicz could have sentenced him to 20 years. Instead, she put him back on our streets. What the tractors would say is you having been soft on a, a violent sexual crime. I would say that that's ridiculous. Judge Protasewicz puts our families at risk, and putting her on our Supreme Court, that's what's ridiculous. Fair Courts America is responsible for the content of this advertising. We've got a lot of news to cover tonight. More Americans are working from home. Tonight, how that's hurting Main Street. CBS's Carter Evans shows us how cities are working to save America's downtowns. That's tonight on the CBS Evening News. Thank you, Nora. Here's one final look at the next eight days. We go into the mid 40s again tomorrow, upper 30s for Thursday. Keep in mind the alert days for Thursday and Friday as snow chances continue to pick up. That winter storm watch will go into effect Thursday night as well. Sunday, don't forget to set your clocks ahead an hour at 2 a.m. or just do it Saturday night before you go to bed as Darren is saving time again. That sunshine really tricks you. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. We'll see you back here at 6.